One of my favorite uh, blitzes to run is out of the 4-3 normal. Um, and it is the um, SS Snake 3 Sky Snake 3 Stay. I just call it Safety Blitz um, when I talk about it. So anyways, this is one of my favorite blitzes to run in. I wanted to show you guys how I set it up. It's really easy to do. So um, anybody could kind of do it pretty easily. It doesn't take a lot of steps. So we'll just practice it against a regular uh, three wide formation. And uh, basically what you want to do is you want to uh, hot root the line to crash to the um, left. And then you want to hot root the right side defensive tackle and have him blitz straight down. And then you select the strong safety and you manually, he sometimes will come down by himself, but a lot of times you have to manually bring him down, put him next to the defensive end and re-blitz him. And then I usually like to just control the middle linebacker to sort of take away any quick throws. And uh, it gets really good heat. Here's here's a look at it. So we go into the replay. We can see what happened here. And um, basically what you see when you look is that um, we slanted the line to the left. And the reason that I do that is twofold. Number one, it causes the, um, the left side defensive end and the left side defensive tackle to slant out sort of to the outside. So that if the quarterback were to try to scramble that way, um, then we would have sort of containment to that side. If we leave them alone, then there's a good chance that that uh, left defensive end will get sealed off. And if we're playing against a faster team like Florida or Ohio State, if they've got Pryor in there, there's a good chance that quarterback's going to run out to the uh, to the uh, left side. So I usually like to uh, to uh, hot route uh, either slant the line to the left. And if I have a lot of time, sometimes I'll just put that um, that left defensive end in contain. And then what we do, the other reason I do it is that so that the right defensive end, he actually slants inwards. And what this causes um, to happen is that the tackle is going to have to take like a step to the inside in order to block him. And the reason that we hot root the defensive tackle to go straight ahead is that I don't want him to slant into the center. I want him to run into the guard. And by him running into the guard, um, basically what that's going to do is make sure that the center is the guy so he doesn't have anybody immediately lined up in front of him to block. And so basically what I'm counting on is that he's going to get confused for a little, for a couple seconds. And then also he's not going to have the speed or the angle to get back and block the strong safety. So that's, this, that's kind of sort of the setup that I'm going with. And if you run it through, you can kind of see basically what happened here. Um, the safety shoots through. And by the time the center realizes that the safety is the guy he needs to block, um, the safety's already by him. Usually your safety's going to be one of your faster players on defense. And so he's going to have good speed to get to the quarterback pretty quickly. And uh, he'll sack the quarterback. L let me just look, show you, what, what, guys, what would happen if we didn't um, if we didn't hot root the line to do anything. If we were to just bring the safety down and just blitz him normally. See, if we just brought him down here and we didn't do any line hot roots. A lot of times what will happen here is that somebody will come rack around and pick up the safety. We won't get as quick a pressure as we did uh, before. If you look at it here, see what happened is that guard came around. And a lot of times, see this time the defensive tackle broke through. But a lot of times what will happen is that the defensive, the center will pick up that defensive tackle. And so he won't get any pressure. And then the two guys here on the right, the right tackle and the, and the right guard, They'll pick up those two blitzers, the uh, the defensive end and the safety, and so you won't you won't actually get any pressure. And so that's the reason that I do the line slanting is basically that I want to make sure that the guard I don't want that defensive tackle to run into the center like that. What I want him to do is to run into the guard. That makes the center have to come free, and since he's further away, I don't know exactly what the deal is, but for some reason centers are the worst offensive linemen on the game in terms of pick, being able to pick up outside blitzers. They seem to have, for some reason, they seem to pause for a second before they uh, back up and before they realize who they can block. And that pause is just enough time to get a guy in there. So that's kind of the theory of why I do this. You, you can run this set uh, basically against, um, run this blitz against basically any kind of offensive formation that you want. Even though it's in a 4-3 defense, because you got zone coverage behind it, and you're basically dropping five guys off, you could run it against, you know, uh, I run it against four wide sets. Uh, sometimes, um, and uh, you could I run it against under center and shotgun. Uh, one thing I just want to point out in terms of a weakness of the blitz, we'll go ahead and set it up one more time and then run through it. And then the thing that you got to be careful of, right, is that 
you don't have anybody in the um, you don't have anybody in that seam area where the safety normally would be, and so if they were to send a guy there, they might could be able to get a, a pass into that area. Uh, particularly like if we were to take that middle linebacker, if we were to manually be controlling with this middle linebacker. And maybe we were playing shorter because we were concerned about maybe that drag route coming from the right side. Or maybe we were playing against the, the crossing route to the left side. See, that tight end would be wide open. And so just, I just think it's always important when you run a defense and you're blitzing. Anytime you're zone blitzing, you're going to leave an area of the field open. And basically what you're counting on is that the offense isn't going to be able to figure out where you're leaving open in time to um, either adjust and start making routes go to that area or they, that the, you'll get lucky and the quarterback just won't see an open guy. Or maybe you'll be able to possibly, if you're really good with the stick skills or whatever, you might be able to make a guy who um, maybe looks like he's open and then you can come over and make like an interception or something like that. But basically, anytime you have zone coverage, you've got a hole in the coverage. And I just think it's useful for what people do to, to, when they run these things, to kind of understand where the holes are in their coverage so that you were to know, like, if somebody starts throwing seam roots or something like that on this defense then obviously you're going to want to do something else. But if you notice that your opponent doesn't really throw a lot of seam roots, or particularly if they don't throw a lot of seam roots to that right side, then you can run this blitz pretty effectively. Um, now, if they keep a hat back into block or something like that, or they slide protect, kind of all bets are off, and I wouldn't use that. But in my experience, a lot of people in the game, they don't do those sorts of things. So I think it's a pretty effective blitz, and uh, I just wanted to share it with you guys. It's really easy to set up. I mean, I think it's got like two or three steps. And I haven't ever had any problems with in, in a game in terms of being able to get the setup done before the other person snaps the ball. Because you just got to do the line stuff, the defensive line, audibles, and um, selecting the defensive tackle and re-blitzing him. I do that as soon as I break the huddle. So then really all I have to do is get the um, strong safety, pull him down, re-blitz him, and then get back to whoever I want to manually control, which is usually going to be the middle linebacker. So anyway, that's, uh, that's a recap of... Uh, the strong safety blitz, and um, I hope you guys have as much success with it as I have.